Of course, the so. biggest story in the country tonight is the uh, imminent seven-day lockdown kicks in in about, uh, what, mm -hmm. uh, 56 minutes uh, in Victoria. And if we go to the front page of the preeminent uh, Victorian masthead, and I refer, of course, to the Herald Sun, 160 days, footy crowds banned, retail shopping banned, going to school banned, dining out banned, Gold standard contact tracing swamped as COVID sites saw fury dismay over later seven-day circuit breaker and vaccine blame game as jabs rolled out to over 40s. Melbournians are enduring their 160th day in lockdown after a snap circuit breaker was imposed on the state as a coronavirus super strain threatened to outrun traces. Well, I've got to say, Lisa... Um, this is really sad news, uh, and it's sad news not just for the good folk of Victoria, but it's sad news for the business people of Victoria who just go through mm. lockdown after lockdown after lockdown and now another lockdown. Yeah, you just had to watch the news tonight and listen to some of those restaurant owners in particular who, you know, there was one venue saying they had bookings for over 500 people over the next so many days and it's all just gone. And the big difference this time is there is no job keeper. So if you are a casual worker, you have no work now for the next seven days and you have no safety net. If you are a business owner, if it's, particularly if you're a small business owner and you want to try and look after your staff, so... You, it puts you in a terrible predicament. Do you then try to find the money out of your own pocket to help them survive? Or do you cut them off? How do you then cover your your um, your costs? It's an absolute nightmare. And the Retail Association is predicting they'll over the seven days, retailers will lose about $1 billion. And that's just the retail yes. sector. So it is going to hit them really, really hard. And as I say, without a JobKeeper there, the, the state government is saying, well, yes, we will be, you know, talking about some sort of um, subsidy or some sort of help down the track. But at the moment, what they're facing is, as you say, in just over 55 minutes, it is lockdown. It is 22 hours of house arrest virtually and mm. there's no help mm -hmm. in sight at all when it comes to the bottom line for business operators.